Um, oh God, you know what? There's Holy no shit, today. we might have to do the bad ending today. Um, it's not yet. It's pretty soon. Oh yeah, you're no, you're right. It's pretty soon. Soon, dude. you're right. He said until New Year's Eve. It's almost New Year's Eve. Um, so hey, uh, there's something today going on. on TV. Oh, never mind. It's me. Oh. Can you two just fuck already? You don't stop yeah, by very often, senpai. Is something wrong? No. I just wanted to talk. Aw, are you feeling won't we? <laughs> are you teasing me? No. Well, Good voice maybe acting. just a little. <laughs> it was great. <laughs> I wonder what this Nyx is like. She's gonna hey, sit on your bed. Do you think it's inside Tartarus? I have no idea. Oh, by the way, I've made my decision. I want to fight to the end. It's better than doing nothing. That's why you're here, isn't it, Senpai? To talk about our decision? I, I guess it is. <laughs> you're so easy to read. I've made my decision as well. Kirijo is making great strides to turn itself around. After I graduate, I plan to assume leadership of the group and continue where my father left off. I cannot turn back now, even if I wanted to. But what if you die? If I die defeating Nyx, then the Kirijo group will have to continue on without me. But I am confident they would fulfill my wishes. Ryoji said Nyx can't be defeated, but I kind of wonder about that. I don't think our special member can be killed either. I agree. Death dwelled within him, amplifying his abilities, though he was exceptional to begin with. He's an interesting guy, huh? Yes, he is. You know, if things don't and work out, and then it was that moment that they realized they okay both wanted as long us. As I'm with everyone. Pretty much and killed each Honestly, other in a rage. it doesn't matter whether or not we die. All that matters is that we're proud of how we lived. And I'd be proud if we decided to fight Nyx. Does your decision have anything to do with your father? Hmm, a little. But it's more about me and how I feel. I understand. Senpai, when we were in Kyoto, you asked me to stand by your side. Do you remember? Yes, I remember. We will fight together, Yukari. Together. Man, that's gay as fuck. Seriously, fucking just fuck already. Oh my god. It reminds me of um, Sound Euphonium, where the two girls keep leading us on and wanting them to like get together. And Except one of the girls likes the teacher. Like, why do you like the teacher, dude? Just fuck the girl. Uh, so, on TV today... Ironically enough, yeah, there's a product called Apocalypse for sale. Uh huh. And ten mind supplements. Now, how much? Four. You're gonna love this. Four hundred thousand. One hundred and ninety-eight thousand yen. Okay, so what is Apocalypse? Apocalypse is a sword that symbolizes turmoil with 295 attack and 90 accuracy, and it gives plus 10 to all stats and plus 50 F SP. Oh, that's really good. It is stronger than a it is stronger than Zweihander as far as great swords go, but remember we just got yeah Gungnir. we just we just made the weapon, but like that's really good. Plus 10 to all stats is very good now. Um the the thing is is do you want to like basically do you want to give up Gungnir? <laughs> that's pretty much Fuck. That's pretty much the the thing here. It, it, the, the thing is is like do you want to give up Gungnir or do you want to use this this sword? So would that so does that give like plus 10 to their to the persona stats? It our stats are the persona stats. So that would make, say, for instance, if we're using uh, Odin. Where is Odin? 
He's the last 61. one. You just... so His we... magic would be 71. <clears throat> That'd be if we have the spear... But it if we have the spear... Now, here's the thing. It I'm strengthens gonna look at... electricity attacks. I'm going to look at... Uh... Persona 3... Gungnir... Um, he gives Elect Boost. How much damage does Elect Boost give? Because that's that's really the question here. I don't know. Uh, Elect Boost. It strengthens electricity attacks by 25%. Um, whereas, how much... Except this weapon would do everything. So, like... It would work for Cert and give him 69. Lol. Um. I I'm trying to figure out what each stat does. Why don't we get it and then we can decide when we have it. Yeah, we could do that. I mean, I, in the meantime, I can look up. Yeah. Look up stuff. Is it like a regular sword? Oh, no, it's a great sword. It's a great sword. Damn it. Well, I'm going to buy it. <clears throat> Those are not the stats I'm looking for. Okay, so it's Sunday. There's nothing going on on Sunday, so I might go check the um, thing real quick. Nope. So, you want to just go to the shrine? Uh, Sunday, I guess. We Let's really go pick up the weapon also. Yeah, I mean to go pick up the weapon. No! No! Gecko Con High. Gate's closed. It's a holiday. It's not really a holiday. It's like, it's like a day off. Oh. oh, hey! Tis the season. It's, it's Christmas. I wonder if we're gonna get this out around Christmas. Maybe. Yeah. If I start editing it, <laughs> I can probably. I'm probably gonna start getting it out. Sooner. I'm trying to. I'm trying to figure out stat weights with personas, and trying to figure out if ten more magic will actually outdo the twenty five percent boost in electricity Fucking calm damage. Down. Yeah. He's not, he's not going to calm down. He can't calm down. Uh, let me do Persona 3 FES stat weights. Uh, a lot of these are about like your social stats rather than yeah. the Persona stats. Well, see the thing is it's only electric attacks. No, not social qualities. I don't care. Stats. I think overall, nope. um, the sword would be better. Probably. Um, it does less damage with a physical attack. Like obviously, but it ups your strength by ten, harder, right? But it up, does up your strength by ten. So, um, I don't know. Um, okay, we're going to Shrine.
I wonder if it's going to start snowing soon. So who should we do? Nozomi? Uh, no, fuck that, Mitsuru. We just okay. used her social link. Fair enough. Um, there's a there's a thing about how how you use a persona actually Fuck. determines which. Cool. Be careful with your money. No. It's gone. <laughs> it just flew away. One thousand yen just fell out of your pocket somehow and flew away. <clears throat> Um, so apparently there's there's a couple a little bit of investigative work done and apparently the way that you use your persona will determine which stats are increased Yeah, like for instance if you use a lot of spells With your persona its magic will keep getting leveled up Or more likely to get leveled up if you take more hits with a persona out its endurance is more likely to get leveled up Look at this tree <laughs> Interesting a little tree Um tonight Uh we don't have anything to do Going to bed. I'm gonna say. Good night, Fuka. It's gonna be. It's been a bit. I'm just. I can't. I can't believe I can't figure this out. I'm, I'm surprised no one has figured this out. Like what the stat weights are on damage and. and yeah. Um. Persona, it's not a big deal. Stats. I think. I think the um the sword might be the best option. Exam results. Whoa. Cool. Hey guys, the results are posted right now. You should probably go check it out. Okay, see ya. Yeah. You like that? You did it. You did it. <gasps> Mitsuru's gonna give us a gift. We should probably go talk to Mitsuru. If she's around. Oh, god fucking damn it. <laughs> no. Right. Let's begin. Uh, Tokami Emitama. Today we'll finally talk about magic right here in Japan. Though I'm sure you think you're familiar with it already, you probably aren't. The view that magic is a dubious subculture is becoming more common. <clears throat> because it is? But what is swept into the corners of society today was once central to Japan. It could even be said that magic was invented in Japan. I don't believe you. I also don't believe you. After all, Himiko of Yamataikoku was a shaman. I don't know what that means. Kido. She reportedly used magic called Kido to control the country. That's like bleach. Can't believe they ripped off bleach. <laughs> Sadly, we have no way of knowing what kind of sorcery that was. So I'm going to give up on uh, looking up stats for personas because fine, no one that. knows how it works. I'm sure it's the same no is deal. true for Prince Shotoku, who established a centralized government. He practiced Onmyodo, so in a sense, he was also a shaman. With origins like this, magic was naturally woven into the very fabric of Japan. 
in the Heian period, for example. <sighs> the Bureau of Onmyo was established for Onmyoji to expel evil spirits and give spiritual advice. Is that an exorcist? I think so. You may be familiar with that from the legend of Abe no Seime. Even in the age of the samurai, ma magicians played their part. Many generals who studied divination and military tactics could be considered magicians. Are you all listening? Don't become mesmerized now. <laughs> I'll test you to see how closely you've been paying attention. Ask, um... Ask Yukari. Ask Junpei. Are you... Get it wrong. Yukari has never been asked a question. Phrases. Tohokami emitama. He's never been asked... Or she's never been asked a question. It's always Utukalan. me. Utukalan. Ah, Makoto, I ask thee. What about Kenji? What sorcery was Himiko said to have used? Skeetle. Oh. Skeetle. Oh. Very good. Ooh. Thank you, Kotodama, for that one. The trend of tying magic to the people continued to the Edo period, but... The new government formed during the Meiji Reformation stamped it out. Tsuchimikado Shinto, which had been revived during the Edo period, faded away. I did it! Hooray! You gave the correct answer. My charm is you increased. Already, your charm is already as high as it can go. Fuck it yeah, bro. Uh, you know what? What? I think today, hold on, let me see. Today, uh, we can hang out with Yukari. Yeah. Because it's Monday, and uh, Mitsuru's not available today. What is she on? I, she I just looked at it, and I fucking didn't look. She's pretty high up. She's on six, I believe. She's on five. You go to six. Yeah. I feel like we're probably going to start dating her soon. Yeah. Good thing we have Pixie. Oh, she looks she looks anxious. I'm pretty sure we're gonna start dating her. Yeah. Which means we have to blitz Yukari. Well, we can still right, do Yukari. both at the same time. Uh huh. That was a nightmare. Although there, to be fair, their schedules line up a little bit better. Yeah. Than Chihiro and Fuku. And if there's like an off day, we can do, go do Moon. Yeah, that's true. Then can we go to the rooftop? Yeah. Yeah. You want to make out? This is our make out corner. This is this was you know this is where I made out with Fuka too. It's true. I shouldn't have told you that. It was sick. I mean, it was sick because I had a cold. Wasn't that good? Fuka got sick too. Hey, do you remember when those guys stole my wallet and you came to help me? No. Yes. Um, you know what would be better? We're we're like the angel and the devil. I don't know who's the angel and who's the devil, but we're the angel and the devil sitting on Yuki's. You know, I was like, actually Mikoto's thinking that exact same thing. Shoulder and I was and like, <laughs> and you you go no and I go yes. Yeah. So he's like, what the fuck? I was thinking <laughs> that exact same thing. Sorry, I got so mad at you. I don't like having to depend on other people. I wanted to be able to take care of it myself. We're gonna beat you up. But I ended up needing your help. I never told you this. But I was really glad you came. I don't think I could say this to anyone else, Makoto kun. Thanks for your help back then. I really appreciate it. Any? Uh, we're going to rank seven, right? Rank six. Oh, we're going to rank six? Yes. Uh, two. Really? 
anytime. Trying to play it cool, eh? She likes it when we play cool. You Canadian? Bruh. Gotta be, we gotta play cool. Two of you have grown much closer. We did it. Hooray. Oh, A mysterious man. voice rings in your head. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> Was that your victory screech like in Spongebob? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Victory screech. Oh, la, 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 la. I don't know how they fucking did that. It's so weird. <laughs> I fucking bring it up random SpongeBob references. Because it's the first thing that's I like think my, of. That's like my favorite thing is people bringing up random SpongeBob references. It's the weirdest thing to reference. It's, it's like, like it's just that thing that's with you your entire life. When you're a 90s kid. <laughs> you're only a 90s kid when you bring up Spongebob randomly. Seems like things are getting serious with Yukari. She might get upset if you go out with an... Okay, we've reached that point. Too bad I'm gonna do it anyway. Um, so... I believe it's gonna just... We just have to rotate back yeah. and forth, pretty much. Whew, that's a big weight off my shoulders. Yeah? Here's another weight, Nyx. Wow, it's getting late. All right, I guess we're gonna go back then. Oh, hey. We walked back with you. Oh, hey. This happened twice. It's been a while though. It's December 21st. There are less than 10 days until New Year's Eve. Mm. For some reason, I'm not scared at all. You know, today, actually, the per this guide writer actually finished Yukari. Seriously? Yeah. Fuck. I don't know how they did it. They were just... They're, they're, why did they erase the fucking, like, social link guide? I don't understand that. I it would have been know. actually kind of nice to know... Like, even if we didn't... Even if we fucked up the social links, it'd be like, Oh, well, you know, we can kind of, like... We'd probably be a little bit like closer, guideline. you know? Yeah, it'd be a little closer. We probably wouldn't have as many reversals. reversals as we do. <laughs> but I mean, like, fuck. Okay, we can walk Koromar tonight. Guess who will join? Yeah, but I want to talk to Kenji. Or Ken. We'll talk to Ken first. <laughs> so much is going on, I almost <laughs> forgot about Christmas. No. It's like I was sleepwalking. Ken, come back. I opened my eyes and was like, oh yeah, Christmas. 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 All right, what's up, Koro? Keep the Christ in Christmas. Don't tell me. I want to be surprised. Maybe it's a dead Christ kid. Christ is the reason for a season. I didn't even read who it was. Who you was? You didn't even read. Oh, see. oh, it was Mitsuru. Hey. Koromaru looks happy when he comes here. I think I'll make this a regular stop on my own walks. Man, why couldn't we walk with the dead kid? Because he's dead. <laughs> May not be appropriate to mention this, but... Dots? It's almost Christmas. You want to do the mistletoe thing? Yeah, you want to do the mistletoe thing? And, well... Do you... What? It's nothing. Forget I said anything. God. No, you can't do that. You can't. I hate it when people do that. I hate that so much. <laughs> fuck, fuck off, Mitsuru. I don't even want to know anymore. Bye. <laughs> he just leaves. I didn't mean. I didn't mean it. Tell me, please. Sky, can I ask you a serious question? What? Don't you just want to kick that sand pile? <laughs> I want to kick. Yeah, I really do. It's. It really bothers me. You spoke quietly with Mitsuru. I don't know, I spoke pretty loudly, but I guess I'm a really small creature that's sitting on Are you small? Makoto's shoulder. Are you small? I'm pretty small. I'm a small muscle boy. <laughs> Welcome back. You seem to have enjoyed yourself out there. God, Kormar, you're so cute. God, Mitsuru is such a mom. A... Mitsuru is such a fucking babe. Yeah, I love her. 
Every time I see her, I kind of I want to shout out, "Why you got to be so pretty?" Uh, let's sleep early. Did you have any faith in me choosing a different option, Sky? Um. Oh man, no. my, my phone yes. vibrated. It's nothing important. Um, today's Tuesday. Yeah. Oh my gotta, fucking god! I'm literally lesson. gonna toss this. It's chilly TV. today. I have got holy alarm, don't I? I'm gonna literally throw the TV out the window. <sighs> Miss Onishi left early, so I'll be teaching today in her place. Goddamn, Miss Fuck. Onishi! I think today we'll Why? learn about near-death experiences. This is not okay, something we fun. should learn in. <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> There's no real reason for it. They've just been on my mind. Why? Okay. Why? Now, a near-death experience is defined as something an individual experiences just before death. Why are we talking about this, dude? Is it true insight into the afterlife? Or simply a trick of the brain? Opinions vary, but it is true that near-death experiences have been a hotly debated topic for some time. There are a few surviving records of ancient near-death experiences. According to the writings of Plato, a resuscitated soldier experienced the afterlife as a spirit. A similar incident was reported in Japan by ethnologist Kunio Yanagita, Yanagita in the Tono Monogatari. Yana, Yana, Yanagiti. Did you say that yeah. really, really fast? What? Or was that Skype fucking up? Uh, probably, probably our voice call fucking up. Cause you, you said that insanely fast for me. Psychologist Carl Young, Carl, it's, it's not Fuck Jung, Carl. it's not Young, it's Carl Jung. Jung? I think it's Jung. Fuck Carl. Uh, actually, actually, Carl, Carl, okay, hold on. Carl Yoon, I believe, that's how you pronounce it. Yeah. Carl Yoon contributed a lot to how this game works. He, his psychology, psychological studies are basically how Persona interprets everything really in fact you can kind of like go through his stuff a little bit and well when we get to yeah. the thing I'll, I'll explain because i want to talk a little bit about carl Jung. no man um you know you know this guy goes nuts when he wants to talk about something not really but i mean you know um so he was a uh his the central concept that his uh, psychology, his studies worked around was uh, individuation, which is the psychological process of integrating the opposites, including the conscious with the unconscious, while still maintaining the relative autonomy. Um, it's basically like a duality, maintaining duality within your own psyche. Mm -hmm. And uh, so here, uh, he was a uh, practicing... Uh, who's a practicing clinician and as such founded the school of analytical psychology. Much of his life work was spent exploring uh, tangential areas such as Eastern and Western philosophy, alchemy, astrology, and sociology, as well as literature and the arts. The major concept of his of analytical, analytical psychology as developed by Jung include synchronicity an a casual principle as a basis for the apparently random simultaneous occurrence of phenomena, which I'll get into a little bit better explanation of that because that's a very vague explanation. Mm -hmm. um, it's basically synchronicity is very weird. Um, it basically, basically, he his. Synchronicity as a concept basically means that 
Events are meaningful coincidences if they occur with no casual relationship, yet seem to be meaningfully related. I don't know if that makes sense, but that's what Dude, that means. Dude, I'm so zoning out on this guy that I got nothing out of you. Um, he also developed the concept of archetypes, a universal predisposition to form images, a structural aspect of the psyche, personal, and collective. That's interesting. The imprinter. Archetypes. I mean, you know, we know what archetypes are. Yeah. They're arch archetypal image in images as well are the same way. Um, he developed the idea of complexes. Mental complexes. Really? He, he developed that. Hmm. Um, he, de he, he studied the ideas of extroversion and introversion. He, de he developed the idea of shadows. The repressed side really? of your personality wow. often experienced as negative. That's pretty cool. Um, he developed the collective unconscious. Euphoria. The shadow of the group as the observe it's, of the herd. It's obviously Yugoslavia. <laughs> yeah. Yugoslavia. What is the feeling of happiness in a near-death experience called? That's fucking funny. Yugoslavia. Good work. Euphoria is the correct answer. Uh, but he developed collective unconscious, which is the collective subconscious thoughts that people have. Um, if you remember... Well, basically, like in uh, wait, in, uh, he made the Final Fantasy fourteen move from the Astrologian Collective Unconsciousness. Yeah. Holy shit, dude! A collective unconscious is basically it refers to the structures of the unconscious mind, which are shared among beings of the sh of the same species. It's all the things that humans potentially think of that are the same thing. That we don't actively think about, like they're in our subconscious. Can you give me an example of that? Uh, Just like breathing? Are you talking about like something like that? No. Sorry, um, I, I like, was not. I was half listening, but it sounded like interesting. Collect, the a, a collective unconscious is basically like, um, like okay, it's been it's been a little while. Um, if you're watching this before watching Persona Four. Spoilers for Persona 4, skip ahead about 30, 30 to 40 seconds in the video. Um, in Persona 4, they talk about how people want to be clouded by the fog. And they want to be in a world that only they perceive. It's People don't actively think that thing. That's a concept that people don't actually think about actively. That's a want that would be in our subconscious and basically Ameno Sagiri was basically talking about how people could or people were all wanting this but they weren't actively wanting it yeah they all wanted it subconsciously so he was bringing it to them giving them oh, okay. the fog that's the collective unconscious all right um he came up with the idea of the anima the feminine aspect of a man's psyche. The weapon? No. Shut up. The anima is the feminine part of a male's mind. The animus is the masculine aspect of a female's the mind. The weapon? Came All up right. with the idea of self, the central archetype image governing the individuation process. An individuation, a process of self-realization, which negates neither the conscious or unconscious position, but does justice to them both. When we awaken to our personas... That is the process of individuation. Mm -hmm. It is a realization of both our positive and negative side and not weighing one or the other oh, above shit. Forgot about this. each other. Sorry. Yeah, we get our we get our king card set. We got the king card set. King Kai! Can't believe we're bringing him back to life. I'm not even going to watch that filler shit. Actually, apparently that filler shit is really good for Android 18. I saw the post. Yeah. She's so adorable. Yeah, whatever. Best girl. I'd fuck her. Too bad Krillin's fucking her, unless you look at any doujinshi involving Android 18, in which case Krillin's there watching. No, he's not like watching. It's just friggin' it's friggin' it's Master Roshi doing her. Yeah, it's just it's just 18 cheating on Krillin. Pretty much. 
That's just it. That's every doujinshi she's involved in. Anyway, here we are. We're at rank 5 now. We're going to rank 5 now, right? Yeah. Okay. It's so easy. You simply purchase a ticket at the window and you can watch a movie. We went on a date. Yeah. It may sound strange, but I have been eager to experience a film in an actual theater. Never been to a movie theater? Even though we sat at the end of the aisle, I didn't feel like my view was compromised in the least. I find it interesting that so much thought is put into the decision and construction of a movie theater. Said the rich girl. <laughs> uh, two. Thanks to you, Yuki. I've always felt too uncomfortable to come here alone. I don't think I would normally have this type of conversation. But it seems to me that Yukari is the type of girl who wouldn't feel inhibited watching a movie by herself. Now you're gonna talk about Yukari? She's also more suited to ride a motorcycle. What does that have to do with anything? What does that have to do with ab- Actually, what does that have to do with anything? Um, one. Yeah, I would also be as like, what are you talking? <laughs> yes, I believe you've seen it before. I used to use it when I provided support for the team. That was a scooter, wasn't it? No, it was a motorcycle. However, I didn't purchase it solely for that purpose. With a motorcycle, I can go where I want, when I want, all by myself. Damn. It's my modest attempt at rebelling against my restricted life. Man, you really, you really understand yourself. I had planned to get rid of it after it was damaged, but I decided to have it repaired instead. It may be a bit of an exaggeration to say I cherish it, but I do enjoy riding it when I have time to. Cool. Let's go for a ride. The answer is two. Yes! Let's go for a ride. Together? Just the two of us? Yeah, why not? Can you ride a motorcycle? Or do you plan to sit on the back? The back would be really cool. The back would be fine. For awful reasons. <laughs> Either way, it would be a lot of fun. Although, man, Mitsuru clinging, clinging behind you would be pretty good, too. Ah, oh, fair Thank you. Fuck. <laughs> Either way, it's fine. Yeah. Thank you. I feel much better. Me, too. Me, too, Mitsuru. I like you're the... Just a fucking, you're just a fucking good time. Yeah. I like the poster that says, The More Than Dreamin'. The More Than Dreamin'? <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> good job. Good good English. It's great. Good English. Good. You suck this cock clean! Right now! She wants to get to know us better. Your relationship is becoming more intimate. Hooray. If you don't have any objections, I'd like to stay here with you for a little while longer. And then we I'm leave. Doing anything. Pretty much. <laughs> bye. <laughs> I'd like to stay with you like, a little longer. <laughs> bye. Hey, Coro. Coro. Why are you so you, cool? Coro. I love Coro so much. You can walk horror tonight. Fuka will join. Oh man, Fuka. Why not? I've got nothing better to do. 